Why is men of the Batwana people? They brought it out of that cave because it looked like a woman's head. And they put it where the main big tar road is today. Well, I said one day I will talk with this stone and perhaps it will tell me much wisdom. It didn't. It nearly broke our backs. Mm -hmm. They who want trouble with a big stone should have strong backs to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, we brought this stone here as a remembrance of what human beings can do. You do not need machines to move heavy objects. The men and the women who, who built the great monuments of stone in France and in England and in America had no bulldozers with which to help. They had the mother power and they had the God spirit. So, when we came here about four years ago, I thought of that holy stone. It had to be here. I don't know why I was so obsessed with it, but it had to be here and now it is here. I pray that the fools of the future do not blow it to hell and go, mm -hmm. not knowing what it really means. Mm -hmm. Under that stone, it lay partly slanted this way, and women and cows mm -hmm. used to give birth under it. Mm -hmm. Now, I brought it here. I didn't know how we can make it land beautifully as it used to long ago. Cupid and Senile. So I just let it stand there. There, next to the stone, you see tall things growing. Mm. These things are peace trees. Mm. These things are plants which our people of various tribes used to plant in their territory, each one, to demarcate the, the, which tribe would stay on which side of the trees of peace. There used to be a whole rows of them going far into the distance. Now, let me come to this thing that really makes me hopping mad. This thing. These statues were not like this. Only this one and that one are colored as I originally made it. These, you can see, they were defaced by born again Christian boys. I ask myself, have these children no sense of the future? Have these children no sense of history? That they vandalize things and destroy them. Things that one day will help them. Mm -hmm. They won't listen. They say they are born again. Born again cockroaches is what I call them. <laughs> Honorable one, 
they who try to build the light, they who try to light the fires of hope in human souls, will sometimes face hostility, will sometimes face aggression, utterly meaningless. And in my stupidity, I tried to bring light to this land, which will soon be torn apart by war. No matter how, how dim the hope, no matter how dark the future, they who live at this time should try and create a better tomorrow. Mm. The young scallywags said I was wrong to paint Jesus black. So they came here one night when we were not here and they corrected the work mm -hmm. with the result that you see. I did not paint Mary that way. But there you are. They who try to create a future for humanity will end up assisting the vandals to create a destruction of their own. Mm. Forgive me for talking too much. Sadesi? She's no. not here, Baba. Mm. Sorry, I talk too much. Otherwise, she would tell me too much. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the African, the Zulu way of saying shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Baba, my name is Leon. And while you were talking about stories, I want you to ask you a question. My name is Leon. I come from Kapsua. I live this on the land South Africa, in South Africa. I live on the land where Adam's calendar is. Yes, I've been there. I was initiated on top of that stone, which looks like a lion, as yes. ugly as myself. Right. <laughs> Baba, I, yes, work, yeah, I, I work with the wild horses. I work with the wild horses of Cops work. The wild horses. Yeah. Bro. And I my question to you, Baba, is I recently discovered I don't know if the if the description is right, but stone gongs. Yes. Stones that make music. Yes. Sir. Baba, this is my question to you. Can you tell me about stone gongs? Yes. So the whole incredible thing which goes right where you have been, where you come from, it goes right up, double rows of stones going right up the map into Somalia. It was intended by our ancestresses and the ancestors to communicate with the madrons, the silent ones from the stars. The whole thing, right up from Swaziland, up the map to wherever it ends, it was a communication device from by human beings on earth to the entities in heaven. Say, there are those who don't know African people. They say we worship spirits. We don't. A thing from the stars, even taller than you are, would you say, say that it is a spirit, hmm. a thing that can smack a man like me with one club from here till next week, who is that the creature of my imagination? Africans were communicating with 
stellar entities since the day when Africa was born. There is a great mistake, Menier, that scientists are making. They tell you that Egypt was in North Africa. I speak Afrikaans no hal. Dit is niet zo niet. Die land van Egypte was hier zo in Zuid-Afrika. Hier in Zuid-Afrika, there is a place in the Cape and in a part of Natal where you see all kinds of marks on flat stones. And when you look at these marks, these marks are made by bones. Boats. Boats. Yeah. I'm sorry. Boat. Boat. Boats. Boats. Yeah. Boats. Oh. Oh. Ships. Ships. Oh. Oh. The land of oh. Egypt did not begin where fools say it is. The land of Egypt began right here in South Africa, in Natal. It is there where the holy stones were created. It is there where people, if they had some sense in their heads, would be talking with the real gods of heaven. Honorable Menier, our people did not imagine gods. Our people saw the gods. And they were not the so-called spacemen whom fools think they see today. They were as real as you and I are. And they told our ancestors and ancestresses how to create a civilization in South Africa. Mm. This thing, Honorable One, you recognize what it is? Mm -hmm. It is a pharaoh's scepter. It, we dug it up in a cave mm. here in South Africa. Thousands of years ago, our people spoke with the creatures from the stars. And we are told, we who try to follow the old way, that the, <coughs> the ancestors from the stars are going to come again and pay us a visit mm. before great changes occur in this planet. They are not imaginary creatures. Mm. They are as real as you and I are. Mm. They are not as ugly as the writers of science fiction would have you know. Mm. Some are even more beautiful than we are. Mm. There you are. It should be say Adama's calendar. Tardi Hohaji van Gisteri was a true man's manier. <laughs> <laughs> and can you, Baba, can you give me the real name of Adam's calendar? Yeah. In our language, say, Umazi Sakasi. Umazi Sakasi. Umazi Sakasi. The female creature or the great creature that gives you knowledge. <coughs> Mm. It has nothing to do with Mr. Adam before no. he stole the no. 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 The woman who tells us mm. Mm. because we believed that our planet here was colonized by female creatures from certain stars that we must not dare even to talk about. Mm. 
the star that white people call Alpha Centauri. Mm -hmm. That is the star from which the first human beings came. They came to this world and showed us many things. And then they left us saying that when the earth is in great, great mortal peril, they, the female ones of Amariri, which means the shining ones, will come and save us. I wish I could have written more about this, mm -hmm. but the people who stole my books' monies did not allow me to do so. Be a knowledge seeker. Mm -hmm. Follow the Mazisakasi, the great mother female who tells you things. That we should be, we who write books, should have tags attached to the backs of our stupid heads. Don't shoot extinct hmm. animal. <laughs> Read. Yeah. Don't shoot. Let us talk to the guys of this world and the guys. Hmm. Leave us alone. Hmm. Yeah. Now, honorable ones, I would like to ask you a question. Please tell me if I'm boring you. Please. No, you're not boring us. Yeah, bring no, no. Please. This question. What should we do to ensure peace on the earth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What should we do? Mm -hmm. Peace should not be prayed to. For mm -hmm. to some angry God who is too busy, maybe with his girlfriends, to think about us. Mm -hmm. What should we do? Read. Mm -hmm. Live from the heart. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. But can you tell some nasty guys of the type that I can imagine now how to live from their hearts? Mm -hmm. To start here, everyone needs to go in and listen to their heart. But ma'am, it's easier to listen to a phone call ha. sent to you yeah. by an angry shopkeeper than to listen to the voice <laughs> of the mother goddess in the sky. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. I know it's true. I, I should know. Yeah. I've been through the S <laughs> S-H-I-T myself. <laughs> 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 really, we, we human beings have got to rethink ourselves, who we are. Let us stop killing those brothers and sisters of us who try to wake us up from the darkness. Let us stop stealing their books, monies, and then murdering them as it was nearly twice done to me. Mm. At least I was lucky to have a sister wife who was brave enough to get me out of the SHIT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to rethink our humanity. We need to rethink what we are. Mm -hmm. Say, please, uh, the Zulu people say you must never tell a big lion how to roar in his own cave. But say, uh, I wish to tell you with respect that the place where you are is the holiest place in all Africa. Is it being protected? Yes. Ah, so 
this is good. Let it be protected. There are lions that used to live there long ago. There was white lions mm. and white leopards. They used to live all along the path of the gods, which is that stream of stones going from Swaziland, from the Cape to Swaziland, and right up to beyond. That place is the holiest place on earth. Oh. Forget your Jerusalem, forget mm. your whatever. Mm. The greatest, holiest objects on this planet are those built by people we do not know. Please, when you, you receive visitors to that holy place, make sure that none of them are angry and, mm. and furious maybe with their spouses or, or whatever. Mm. Anger is not allowed in the footpath of the gods. Near mm. Swaziland, mm. there is another object, very big. It is the stone goddess the mother goddess. She was built there to mark that holy place. Let them visit it, but all those who go to that place should be free of anger, mm -hmm. be free of fury. Mm -hmm. um. I see that the, ch the newborn children now seems to me to look different, more sparkly, more clear than a generation ago. Of course. How come? How come? <laughs> well, ma'am, when guys come from space to come and cause nonsense on this planet of ours, they look as beautiful as Marilyn Monroe <laughs> on her honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful of nice-looking guys and guyesses. They are up to no good, as they carry said to the outlaws. Angels will come amongst us, and few will be able to recognize them for what they are. Some will come for great good, and some will come for the darkest evil. Mm. We are facing a time, a time where human beings should come together and pray. Mm -hmm. We must pray. I know that when I talk that way, to some people say, where is the God up there? And I tell these guys, hey, hey guys, look inside you and don't be afraid of the ugly thing that you will see in there. Mm. That's the big man you're looking for, all the big women. Mm. God is in us, mm. not exactly. up there. Mm. God is immediate here, yes. not beyond those stars. Mm -hmm. There we are. Yeah. This place. Baba, I heard you speak um, about the power of the, the mother, mm -hmm. uh, the feminine power, the power, exter extraordinary power of the women when they are in their period. And it's all about uh, feminine power, creative power, uh, beyond what we can comprehend maybe from uh, where we are. But what happened to that power? It seems that male have taken over and uh, and the women are so uh, suppressed in many cultures. Why? Ah, that's a very good way to say, man. Men, why were men 
afraid of women. Why? Women gave birth to those men. Man and woman come from her womb. According to African mythology, men did not come from any woman's womb. Oh. They were created by God, the bad God, when he was nice and drunk. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the story says so, sure. that men were created by an angry God when yeah. they were drunk. Really, I don't believe that, but that's a story that my grandmother's grandmother told us. <laughs> <laughs> when a creature is easily frightened, as men are, that creature does a lot of remorse, as we say in Africans. He makes a hell of a mess. <laughs> yes. But then, it's no use looking at the mess that some angry god or goddess made. Correct it. Yes. Mm. Correct it mm. nicely. Your mothers did not fight. They tried to fight against the men and they failed. Yeah. You know what they did? Your mothers, 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 mothers. You know what they did, Honorable yeah. One? Please. No, 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 no we, we, we don't. We no, no. We love to hear from you. They created a new world. They created a new civilization. They took religion from the stars and they brought it right down on earth here. Hence all the temples that are built all over the world, they were created by women. No temples were created by men. All of them were created by the mothers. Why? They wanted to take the spirit of war out of the bellies of their sons. Mm -hmm. ah. That's what our stories say. Mm -hmm. The mother goddesses decided to fix up humanity. <laughs> they decided to create places where people would go and get drunk of a god's weight. Mm. Imagine that. Mm. To create peace, temples were created throughout the world. Mm. But then you can overdo a great thing too much. Mm. The first mothers created temples and the temples became places of strife and anger. Mm. Those ladies really needed to be given their marching orders and dismissed from the job. Mm -hmm. There we are. Mm. The place where the honorable gentleman has just spoken about is the holiest place in all Africa. It was there where our ancestors and ancestresses actually communicated with beings from beyond the stars. Mm -hmm. It was not a myth, it was not a fable, it was a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we are. Mm -hmm. Is there one question? Can you speak about to overcome fear? 
I can't give an answer to that question now because I myself look at my face. I'm scared stiff of what I see around me. All those things that are happening over there and the most scarifying things that a human being can see is the ability to look into the future and to try and run away from it. You mm. can't. Mm -hmm. I wish I can run away from the future. Mm. I can't. It is here. It is there. But look behind you, honorable ones. There. There she appears. There. There her knee rises. There her breast kisses the sky. There her head is turned and facing I don't know which direction. Madina Lady, Mother of the Stars. There is a place right here in South Africa which is in mortal danger. There are people who want to start a war in my motherland and that war will center around that place. That place, where is it? Mm -hmm. I will tell you. Thank you. Think of the map of South Africa. Mm -hmm. Think of the, the long line of ocean mm -hmm. which extends from East Africa right down to the corner of South Africa. Where, mm -hmm. where where it, the continent moves to form the, the Cape of the Twin. Mm -hmm. There is a story that is told that years and years and years ago, a holy man was sent on a sacred journey down the continent of Africa. This holy man was to travel to down the African map and to where the Cape, the land turns going towards the Cape of Good Hope. There, one Visualize, please, a map of South Africa. There on that corner where the Cape, the continent turns, there, there is a, a religion which believes it has a mission to create a holy place there. These are good people, but what they plan to do is not good. Don't start a war in God's name and say that you are fixing the world. No. You do not fix the world by murdering children. You do not fix the world by killing helpless women yeah. and stupid men like myself. We need to create peace in South Africa. And the people of this land are not aware of the danger they are facing. Mm -hmm. My heart 
is filled with much sadness. I wish people would pray, would quarrel less, and pray more. Grow